Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider Preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 25169. In this build, we have a few new features and changes and also a whole bunch of fixes that we're gonna talk about in this video as always. If you enjoy videos like these about new Windows 11 builds and updates, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel because it helps me out a lot. So let's begin with this video. So first of all, in this build, Microsoft is in announcing the multi-app kiosk mode, which is a lockdown feature for Windows 11 that allows an IT administrator to select a set of allowable apps to run on the device while all other functionalities are blocked. Of course, this is only for IT administrators and this can be enabled with Windows PowerShell. More info about this will be in the article down below because I don't want to get into more technical stuff because it really doesn't interest me that much. If you're interested in this, make sure to check out the article below in the description because there you have more info about this new multi-app kiosk mode. So an interesting new addition in this build is that Microsoft now enabled Windows Spotlight on the desktop as a brand new Windows Spotlight theme that can be found in settings, personalization, and also themes. And the theme is this one, as you can see, you can select it. And additionally, you can make your own custom themes with Windows Spotlight's rotating images as well. So this is actually a pretty cool thing in my opinion. And now you can uh, personalize your Windows 11 operating system even more. And I think this is really interesting. Microsoft also updated the US English handwriting model to be faster and more accurate, which is also a really nice thing. And regarding the settings app, settings now supports managing apps which were earlier only supported from the old control panel. So if you go into apps and installed apps, this should now include the uninstallation of apps which have interdependencies such as Steam and gaming apps running on Steam, repair and modifying of Windows 32 apps. So I think that is really, really nice. And a small change regarding the Windows security app, you can now see the app version displayed in the Windows security settings under about. Regarding changes and improvements, these are the changes and improvements pretty much. Microsoft worked a lot on improving the experience for IT administrators and adding more and more features that they can customize, but also this new theme for the Windows Spotlight and the new integration from the old control panel to the settings app, it's quite interesting. Now let's talk about a few fixes. So for example, regarding the taskbar, Microsoft fixed an explorer.exe crash that was preventing taskbar from loading when launching Microsoft Teams meeting sometimes, and they also fixed a couple explorer.exe crashes some insiders were experiencing related to taskbar overflow. A lot of you guys have asked me about the taskbar overflow, now that should be available after a restart when you install a new Windows 11 build. For me, this is still bugged, so I cannot see the new taskbar overflow feature even after multiple restarts and also after upgrading to Windows 11 build 25169, but let me know down below in the comments if you have the same issue and if you can see the new taskbar overflow. Regarding the start menu, Microsoft fixed an issue that was removing the more button in starts recommended section. Regarding settings, Microsoft fixed an issue where after using the reveal password button in the Wi-Fi section of quick settings, the text field might unexpectedly lose focus. So basically, this is all there is to, it, to this new Windows 11 Insider Preview build 25169. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like down below this video and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. That was Emmanuel from TechBased. Until next time, have a nice day.